Hey everybody, Mr. Martini here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build your own timeline using Notability. <clears throat> now, of course, you can do this on paper. Uh, there are many other applications that you can also do this on as well. I'm going to show you how to do it on Notability, just because I know that we all have access to it, and we all, at this point, should know how this application mostly functions. So, the first thing that I did is I split screen, okay? I put my notability on the left and the timeline that we're using for this assignment on the right. Now, what's really important for me to say here is, yes, you are recreating the timeline that you see on the right side of the screen, okay? But you're not doing it exactly, okay? So you're not copying it down word for word, but rather you're going to need to summarize using your own words uh, what you see in, in the informational boxes here. And I'll, I'll help you through that a little bit. So next, you want to make the actual line. So you'll notice here that I made this dark line just right across. I also made the title, you know, timeline of the Civil War, but it's easy to find. The next thing that you want to do is always mark out your timeline. How long is it going to be or how many kind of years are you going to go through on this timeline? So I'm going to change my color to green. My line is in red. I just think it's always helpful to have uh, different colors. So if we take a second to look at our map over here, we know that we've got a marker of 1820, 1835, 1850, 1865, and 1880. So we've got five markers that we want to make. Well, what I always do is I start on either end because I know that my timeline is going to have a beginning. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm just going to make my first mark right there. Now I'm not going to write anything yet because the first thing I want to do is just kind of space them out so that they don't look all kind of stuck together. So I'm going to go over to my right, oops, I'm going to go over to the right side of the timeline and I'm going to put another marker there at the end. So what this does is it kind of gives me my bookends, my, my start and my finish. Then the other three are just kind of spaced out. So I'll have one in the middle and then two more in between those. So you'll notice that I start at the ends, and then I kind of work my way from the middle. Now I can actually add the years. So this first one was 1820. And then 1835. And finally, we've got 1880. All right, now we can actually start to build out the information in our timeline. And remember what I said before, you're going to want to, sorry, lost train of thought. You're going to want to summarize what you see, all right? So if we go over to our timeline on the right, the very first thing we have is that in 1820, the Missouri Compromise maintains the balance of free and slave states in the Union. So, what I want to do, and I'm going to switch my colors again, so you see that, I'm going to use blue this time, I always think blue is kind of a nice color. So it's right at 1820 that this happens, so I don't need to go anywhere in between, I know exactly where it's going to stand out, so I'm going to draw a line up. I hold it there for a little bit so that it kind of straightens out, but you know what? I actually want that line to be a little bit thicker so that it stands out just a little bit more. Oh, yeah, that's better. So we'll do that. Then, again, I just want to summarize what information this is holding. And, and basically what's the, what this is saying is that the, and I'm going to have to spell this right, Missouri. The 
Missouri Compromise basically comes into effect. It passes. It goes through. All right. So next is actually not 1850, but it's this one down below that you might see here. 1848. Well, that's not in between my 1820 and 1835. That's quite a bit further. So 1848. Here, it's in this range that you see here, okay? But because it's 1848, we know that it is going to be closer to 1850. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little line down from here. And it's always helpful to sometimes look ahead. So, like, I know that they're going to have quite a few things in this middle region. So, I'm actually going to add, like they did, a little bit more of an extension to draw this. Where am I going to come? So, what happened in 1840? So, this is 1848. Um, now, I put down the actual year here because we don't know exactly just based on the line. Earlier we did because it was right at 1820. So, the Free Soil Party is formed to oppose the extension of slavery in the West. Okay. So, summarize this. Again, very briefly. Free Soil Party established against what was it against the extension I never like that word I'm gonna say against the um, oh man no I can't think of it we'll just go with it uh, against the uh, extension of slavery. Okay. Hopefully this helps you get a sense of what you're doing. What you need to continue doing now is summarizing each of the other events. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more events that you need to summarize and add to your timeline. Don't worry about images right now. We'll talk about that the next time we complete a timeline. I hope this was helpful. Good luck.